I'm trying to figure out a kind of intro of this. I probably should count down or something. Five, four, three, two. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Too Much to Say. Too Much, much to Say. Too Much to Say. I am Eric. I am Duncan. Of course you are. Duncan, the Duncan Butler. Absolutely. Someone asked me today, actually, at work, I, they said, what are you doing after work? And I said, I'm going to a, my friend Duncan's house to record. And she goes, is that like a place? <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? And she goes, like, Duncan is Donuts. Is a restaurant? She literally goes, like, Duncan Donuts. And I was like... No, it's like my Dude, friend's name is Duncan, and I'm going to his house. I can go on for many, many hours, you if know not what? days, about the plight of having an odd name. Dude, future episode is seriously my last name and your first name, because we've just had the craziest stuff happen yeah. with that. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely your first name, but we just need to one day, there's just going to be a graphic that goes up, and it's just going to be all the names you've been called, just like, like credits rolling. Donnie, <laughs> Donald, Dominic, Dudley. Dustin Douglas. All right, so not to pivot too hard here. This is a very hard pivot. Mm -hmm. We got to hear about Skeddy Gate. Oh man! So this so, is this is just kind of something that happened to Duncan. Before yeah, before we get into like the main topic at hand, before you got you know, I'm sure everyone's excited to see us try this weird Scandinavian crap. But however, <laughs> nope. I have an interesting story that also deals with food. Happened to me earlier this week. Mm -hmm. um, for those that work in like a typical office type setting might be like, they might be able to uh, relate to this and, and, and at least some way. So uh, I think it was Tuesday earlier this week, a few days ago, there was a mass email sent out between everyone that works for the company that I work for set with it, with a photo saying, uh, Oh man, I should pull it. Let me, let me pull up the email real quick. Actually. Um, since I have it, give me one second. I was actually just looking to see if Ikea is Scandinavian, and now there's a bunch of cool stuff from Ikea. Ikea is the best. We could do a whole episode on just Ikea, non-Ikea food, which once we run out of topics, just Ikea, the furniture store, will definitely probably be a be a topic. Mm. When you just start scraping the barrel, you know? Yeah, when you start having a, yeah, absolutely. Scrapping the barrel. Scrapping. Scrapple, where did, where scrapple barrel, uh, that which email? is what it would probably be called. You got a lot of nudes, buddy. Yeah, I got a lot of nude photos to go looks through. Like a, looks like a turtle lost its shell. <laughs> uh, dude, where is it? I can't find it. This is uh, dead air. Oh, wait, you know what? I never sent it to y'all. It's technically not dead air. You sent us the pi a picture I sent of you the I sent you like a photo I took of my computer screen. Oh, this is such interesting. Yes, that's what you sent us. This is so interesting for people to listen to. Um... Hold on, two more seconds, and then I'll have it. No dead air. Here we go. All right. First of all, the headline is Refrigerator Cleanup with three exclamation points. Uh, this is from our branch manager of our particular office. I am not really sure who this belongs to, but whoever it is needs to come and get it cleaned up in the refrigerator. It has leaked all on the shelf underneath it. There is cleaner under the sink and Lysol wipes in the closet. Please take care of the items that you put in the refrigerator. It is not fair that someone else has to clean up after you, exclamation point. This needs to be done ASAP. Which in is, highlighter. Which is highlighted. Yeah. We do not want to have to police the refrigerator and be forced to throw away everything, including bowls, at the end of each day. So I'll definitely have to post an, a picture of this on the uh on the youtube video uh, as to what this is in reference to because like it is just like you know it's something that i just i, I felt like i i was like and when we're i look for sure that's like not in a in a bag like in a ziploc bag in there or anything right we're sure that's like no 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 a I, bag of I saw this I saw this with my own with my own two eyes. So did you go check it out after you got the email? When I got the email, I went and checked it out, and then and then that's when I, that's <laughs> did when people I, think it was you then? No, no, no. Okay. People, I think I think everyone within our company like knew who this was right away. Um, and I was I don't know if I told I was correct in who it was. I'm, I'm not going to name. No, I know you explained what you explained the person, but you didn't say his what name. What we're referring think. to I is said his name. a name, just a raw like grocery bag like a plastic grocery bag just full of spaghetti Kroger, like a kroger bag a, yeah a kroger shopping bag with uh just 
a pile of spaghetti and sauce. It's like it. it's like if you went trick or treating and you, you walked up to like a cafeteria lady's house <laughs> and you had a Kroger bag and she was just and she like she just dumped sloppy Joe in like, there. Like it's just yeah, dude, sloppy Joe's so good and people don't appreciate it. That's dude, all. I haven't subject. had a sloppy Joe in like fifteen years. So good. Probably. We're gonna do sloppy Joe's one night. Absolutely. I'm dude. I'm stoked for it. But no, dude. It was. <laughs> no, you're not. It's a gross, uh, used more than likely uh, yeah. Kroger bag. With uh, just a pile of spaghetti and sauce inside of it. And that's what was obviously leaking inside the refrigerator. I investigated immediately and had a, had a rough idea as to who, who the culprit might be. Um, went back a short time later after I, you know, I, I, I sat there for maybe about 10 minutes and I was mm-hmm. like, I should tell someone about this. Like, this is like, this is something that you, like a meme that you see it's online. It's the perfect group chat topic for the day we basically have a different topic every day we talked about it all day yeah that day um but no uh when i went back maybe an hour or two later it had already been cleaned up and yeah and then a couple of days later i did get confirmation so it leaked out of the bag and like leaked on the on the shelf or yeah, something. Yeah, on Janice's, <laughs> Janice's. Which a lot of people, I would say, between your Facebook and Twitter post, and then when I retweeted it, yeah. quote tweeted it, someone was like, dude, why does she get her own drawer? Dude, okay, so I never quite answered that. I, going back to the screenshot, there's a drawer underneath. Uh, that's a weird word, drawer. 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 Underneath where the spaghetti was that just has Janice's name labeled on it. Janice is the woman who sits, her desk is right next to mine. And she's a lovely woman. She's an older lady. Do you mean that? Um, yeah, she's one of okay. my good. She's one of my good friends at work. Like you're good. Okay, that's always good to have. Why she like felt like the thing Can is? Can you is, ask her next week why she has her own? Well, drawer? the thing is, is I don't feel that's her stuff in there. I don't know how her name ended up on that outside of that drawer. It's not her stuff in there. You it's, need you need to do a power move. And put Duncan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And just go put it over her name one. That's day. what I need to do because. Like, you know, like I said, like, she doesn't really ever seem to use the refrigerator. And like, I only know this because she works right. Just, so she are works you comfortable to ask me. her like, no. to be like, no, you're not? No, I will. Okay. I'm probably going to forget, but I'm going to try to remind you in the group chat. Okay. That way everyone just just unabashedly bothers you about it until you ask her. Yep. I Can you it. record yourself asking Janice? Yeah, I'll ask her. Yeah, I'll record. No, I'm not going to do that. She would. Oh, uh, ex- excuse she, me. She'd probably beat me up. But you'd no, be, that's you'd be so, like, Janice, why do you have your own drawer? <laughs> Janice, I've always wondered. Dude, I remember it because, dude, this was maybe like a year ago. Yeah. They did a. Did she dude, come from the other building too or no? That, Are you the only one who did that? That refrigerator used to be gross. And I mean, it doesn't look great in that in that photo. Either, I mean, it looks like a work refrigerator. No one wants to clean it. <laughs> it's disgu- it was disgusting there for a while. And they did a massive purge of the fridge like six months, a year ago. I don't exactly remember. But after that purge, I remember looking in there for the first time and I was like, why does Janice, like, why does she have her name on this one drawer? So like, do you think this predates the purge or is this after the purge? The, her name on the, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really remember. Um, but I just remember, I was like, why does she have her name on that drawer? Because the thing is, is like, she doesn't even really bring food that often. So it's, I don't know. It's weird. You think someone else did it maybe? Maybe. This is, we've gone from Skeddy Gate to Janice Gate because Skeddy Gate's solved. Skeddy Gate is solved. Well, the only thing that is unsolved, and this uh, this might be unrelated, but um, <laughs> a day the day after this happened, I came back to work the very next day. Oh, and no, yeah. Yeah. I had, I, dude, I bought AirPods two years ago when they first came out. Mm-hmm. I kept them, I kept them in my desk, on my desk. I think you got them like a week or two after me. I had them, I've had them a while. Yeah. Um, it's been a long time. Dude, my freaking AirPods were missing. I, and dude, I, I tracked, I tried to track them. I, I like, I dug around my whole area. You know, if you're so close to them, you can look at your phone to see if they connect. And I, dude, I, my freaking AirPods are gone. Dude, we offered you so many different pieces of advice on like how to find them. Mm. And it was just, I don't know. It was. It's unfortunate because, dude, I use. Well, the thing is, is it's. I ordered a new pair because the Apple Store didn't have any, and uh, I just randomly checked my phone today, and it was like, oh, they've got stock on them now. So I ran to the Apple Store on my lunch break, and I had to cancel my online order. Regardless, I've got AirPods again after almost. You got the a, sweet new ones. The after, after, yeah, ones. the new ones. Um, my after almost a week of not being able to like listen to stuff in my desk, which is. Quite, uh, quite. It's painful. It's very painful. Nonetheless, though, what, I should do that at work, and I just don't like. Just I have dude, one I pop in. one in in the left ear, mm-hmm. and I just 
our Pod- new our new lender I notice has like one in a lot podcasts music uh whatever the case might be dude you know, that's what keeps me from like shooting up the place um that I, I don't I don't actually mean that but <laughs> but nonetheless dude so yeah that's Skeddy Gate in a nutshell we do know who the culprit is we have not been able to locate my lost AirPods unfortunately but that's probably going to always be the case but nonetheless if you don't return Duncan's AirPods. Yeah, this is a piece of PSA. They will find your body in a Kroger bag. And it'll look like room. spaghetti. Janice. <laughs> oh, man. Man, so, mom, mom spaghetti. Yeah, dude. So let's get on to the topic at hand. I guess so. I was at Ikea last night, and I decided... I You're was not even, a true American unless you... Go to a place that's not American. If you don't extremely value a Swedish establishment. Like the meatball, the meatball furniture store. Mm-hmm. Well, IKEA is this crazy place. Well, I think I do want to do a topic on IKEA, so I kind of want to stick to food as much as possible okay. from them. But IKEA, they do. It's a giant furniture store. It's very unique. For those who might not know, dude, it's a global. Company. I think a lot of people just haven't gone to. Uh, well, dude, it's so dead on weekdays. I saw like the yeah. same five people it's there. It's pretty last busy night. on the weekends. Yeah. Um they could be closed on the on weekdays, I think, and be fine. You know, I like, worked to be honest. You know, I don't know if we were friends at this point, if we no. knew each other, but I worked there no. for a short period of time. I I swear you helped me there when, when they first opened. Oh, I believe it. That's I that's, swear that's I funny that you say you. that. Yeah, the this is exactly how it worked. I I got my I got a second job. You know, I had my day job mm-hmm. hanging out with Janice. You don't have any glare on your glasses, and I'm so jealous. And I do if I do this. Oh, I guess if I talk like this, I don't glare. Um, that's the worst part about glasses and this, these lights. Um, but yeah, I picked up a part time job there and was working like dude, freaking eighty hours a week almost. And I just, I, I got tired of it and that's why I no longer work there. The funny thing is though, is like when that happened, when I was like, okay, I'm going to quit this part-time job and just stick to my day job. What, that was the inspiration for then creating hero shot. What then that's what then turned into hero shot. Oh, okay. um, I was like, I'm going to have all this extra time now so I can start doing this YouTube thing and a Something podcast. Something you want to do. Absolutely. That, well, yeah, that was, dude, I was at my height of like watching like Collider and like Screen Junkies and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And I was like, I want to do this that. This sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's when I, that's, and then like a month later, I, maybe less than a month, maybe a few weeks later, I put out my awful, terrible Logan review, which is my very, my I don't think very, I've ever watched it. It's my very first video, man. It's, I've talked sort of like, and he's just great. And the movies, it's pretty good. I don't know. I feel like I took like nitrous or something oh, before wow. I recorded that. I talked so slow. It's really weird. Nonetheless. That's odd. Um, so I'm sitting in so Ikea. So Ikea became Hero Shot. That's what I'm trying to Ikea say. Ikea is the birthplace of Hero Shot. Absolutely. Um, and and uh, um, meatballs. Meatballs. So I decided, hey, I want to go ahead and I think we should try some Ikea food. Because we want to do some stuff on this where we would do, biggest thing with too much to say now is kind of like random topics, also rank things, and yeah. also just like try things, yeah. like food and stuff. We're foodies. Obviously. Too much to try. But we're foodies. Ikea edition. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I told you this before we started recording. I worked at Ikea for like six months. Mm-hmm. Not, very, actually not, not very long at all. But I only, the only thing I ever ate at Ikea was like the pizza up front. The pizza or, do they have hot dogs? They do. Hot dogs and... Cinnamon rolls up there, ice cream. I've never had a cinnamon roll. You should have got cinnamon rolls. I actually almost went. Well, from Ikea. The thing that I've sucks is when you go out of Ikea, you really only see the cinnamon rolls. And yeah. And sell the trays. You really only oh, see yeah. them after you pay. Unless you go buy them first thing. That, I almost feel... It's like reverse. ...is a whole other episode We're of, doing the front. ...of yeah. Ikea. We're doing the, the, the front of the food. ...is the layout of the store. Um, oh, yeah. One thing that I will say... I wonder if we could get like an over... like a like a kind of an aerial view in a sense. Oh yeah. But like inside the store that mm-hmm. we could have as a graphic and go yeah. around the, in the map. that they give out at the front. It's they like have, that. They have a layout All right, on, so we're the, gonna, on the map. We're going to do like a whole Ikea marathon. Um, what I was going to say we though is. We could go is, do B-roll in the This store. particular part of the country here in Memphis, like there's the, I think the closest one, bef- the closest Ikea before we got ours was. I don't know where I put the plates. Sorry. Oh, they're, they're in there. 
Okay. I'll be back in a second. Okay. What's but, about IKEA? Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say the, the funny thing about IKEA is we had we before we got this one here in Memphis, the closest one was maybe 4 or 5 hours away and so when when the one opened up here, I think most people who uh you know, most consumers, most customers had never been to an IKEA before. I didn't know exactly how it worked, the layout, the way, um, the path, so the we way. We used to go a lot when we were little. Yeah, yeah. Do we? Most people in this part of the country, I don't think I'd ever been to one before. No. So when I was working there, you don't know how many complaints I got about the layout, uh, not having shopping carts at the front of the store, which, which they've they, since changed. I, yeah, they anytime do. you go back to. I think enough people complained about not having real shopping carts at the front of the, at the store. At the front of the store where you do the first half of the store, you're not even really buying anything. Exactly. You know, that second part when is when you're supposed to get the actual shopping cart. The first part, dude, but so many people complained about because, dude, at this part of the country. Keep talking. I'm just going to open this up. The, dude, this talking. part of the country, like, the only thing people had, uh, you know, that was recognizable to something like that was Walmart or Target or something like that. So, um, yeah, it's it, it, that's the reason... I don't think people knew what to expect, but like I said, that's probably a whole other episode. Is the the format of IKEA and the sort of the tricks of getting around in IKEA before? Let me take a sniff. Take a sniff. Oh, these are interesting. Knacker Broad Rag. All right. So first things we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we got some rye crisps. Oh man, I'm nervous. Rice crisp bread. You know, I will say I'm Knacker pretty. Bread. I feel pretty proud of myself with the fact that I'm like I'm like willing to try anything. Mm-hmm. But, but I probably won't like most of it. But I'm, I feel like I'm gonna not like this this stuff, this creamed, Ooh. bro. This creamed uh, fish is jizz. Fish. Yep. I mean, that's what it is. Fish eggs. Fish. But oh, this is male right. fish eggs. So it's basically male. Wait, what? Semen. Oh, oh. Male fish semen. Selecting. All right, so we got the. We're gonna be putting the. How many carbs are in this? You know, I'm on keto. All right, so not many actually. First thing we're gonna try, I think, is this sill. Enlogged, it's herring and marinade with onion and carrots. Yeah. I'll kind of push it up there. I don't know if you'll do. I'll have to. I'll text I'll have you to, pictures. I'll of have everything. to do. Bright, I'll look up pictures. I'll on, get graph. Uh, uh, um, PNGs or something later. This looks purple. Would you say? Uh, <laughs> it looks purple. It's well, you know what's in it. Let's see what's in this. So, uh, herring and marinade with onion and carrots. Not uh, sure I've ever had herring. I don't honestly, and I like yeah, fish. I think so. I was trying to see. It doesn't actually. Ha- oh wait, here we go. What cuts of marinated sodium? skinless fillets of herring, sugar, salt, onion, carrots, allspice, preservatives. Yeah, salt. Okay, so I was thinking of probably the vinegar. There is vinegar in here, but it just says vinegar. I was thinking maybe it was like red wine. Vinegar or something. I don't know. Do I shake it? <laughs> yeah, you might so. want to. You might want to get all of the ingredients thoroughly. How are you supposed to eat this stuff? You think that I don't know. It literally just shows someone or like a fork. See, that's in what I was thinking. If you were supposed to just eat, so what? I think you're just supposed to eat that straight, man. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do. We're going to do just, a little bit on a on a. On the I think crisp, I'm going to get just a piece of the herring and try it on a on a cracker. Or this, what is this? What is knacker rye knacker brud? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's not a cracker. Um, it's knacker brud. All right, we got to do the sniff test for this. Oh God. Okay, it smells like tuna, so we're gonna we're fine with that. Actually, yeah, I figured it'd be bad. It's it doesn't it smell like tuna. It smells a little like bit sweeter than tuna. Vinegary. Tuna. Also, it's making me want tuna for dinner. A tuna sandwich now, dude. I, had... I wish bagel was open. Oh, bagel. I do. We still got to go. try it. So got to go. I want a, I know, dude, I'm doing the keto thing right now, but I, I'm willing to sacrifice for a good bagel. I want, uh, a, I want a like bagel. Like an everything bagel? With like that, like salmon on it and the mm-hmm. cream cheese. I'll do bagel and lox, bro. So good. And like a, maybe capers. I don't know. I've never yeah, had capers uh, sometimes, before. Sometimes, yeah. And like maybe tomato um, and onion. That's what I do. I, I want that so bad. Uh, it's it's the best. And you do it when I'm on a cruise. I do that like for breakfast as much as possible. It's so good. As much as possible. All right. So I've got. Knacker you really don't see the onion. I just want, dude, I just really just want the one piece. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. We got to do a little bit of onion. Or I think there's already onion anywhere. Okay. Uh, so here, I'm going to take this back. That's yours. This I did one? yours first to be nice. Yeah. So I feel like you have to take that one now. Should I move my laptop? I don't know. 
Uh, All right, so I, I don't really I don't care. know. So it looks like a it honestly looks like a little fillet of salmon. Well, hang mm. on, man. Bone. Why do you say bone appetit in IKEA? Bone uh, apple teton. Oh, should we rank these on Swedish chefs? Can we rank all this out of five Swedish chefs? Yeah, that's okay. what we can do for <laughs> okay. sure. I'm gonna let you go first. Should I go for the whole thing? Uh, you should probably. Uh, you might want to move the mic a little bit further away so you're not munching. Should I? Should I go for like the whole piece? Yeah. I think you needed to do it too. Oh, the whole piece of fish. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will. But okay. I'm gonna let you go. What first. do you mean? I will. I will. Dude, that cracker is crunchy. Okay. Go for it, Trump. My turn. I'm going to move the microwave just slightly. Oh. Tastes like a fish dip. Mm. Okay. It tastes like pungent tuna. Yeah. It's just very strong tuna. It's vinegar. It's like mostly vinegar. Yeah. That's what we're dealing with here. It's very strong. Vinegar taste. It's, I would like it if it was toned down a little bit, to be yeah. honest. This cracker is not bad, dude. It tastes like a trisket. Tris, trisket. We should have done dry cracker first. Huh? We Please. should have done dry cracker first to just test that a little. Mm. I can taste the, uh, the rye. It's very dry. Yeah. Rye crisp bread. Yeah, just rye. All right. What's next? That's uh, actually not bad. I mean, I'm we're going we're gonna to move to the sweet stuff at the end because I know we'll probably... You can move your mic more. back now. Okay. You probably just want to just tip, like maybe just tilt it away from me a little bit. This way? Yeah, like when you're, when you're munching. Okay. What? Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. So let me get you another one. Or bring your plate over. Okay. All right, so how many Swedish chefs are we are we doing herring? Um, well, here's the thing. Um, it's not bad. It's not nearly as no. gross as I thought it was going to be. One, I'm a tuna no, fan. I think if you like Garrett, who hates tuna, dude, tuna salad and all that, um, give it. He to would me. hate this. However, Absolutely. he would never even try it. However, I don't want to eat any more of it. I know I don't want any more. So I'm if it get, was if it was diced up and you did a little bit of mayonnaise with it and maybe something to tone down like the vinegar. I actually think you could you it, could make yeah, something out of it. It probably wouldn't taste much different. But I'm not than putting tuna. that much effort into it. Yeah. You know this cam is only like two fifty or three bucks or something? Not Dude, that bad. Was, that's the thing is like IKEA is notoriously cheap. And it's mm -hmm. always a slightly like you know, that was always the thing is like you get a slice of pizza for like a buck fifty or something like that. Um but no, it's not bad. I don't want any more. I'm gonna go mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. out of five. Two Swedish mm -hmm. out of five. <laughs> um I'm gonna go I'm gonna go two and a half mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. it's exactly in the middle where I think it's fine, but I'm fine never eating it again. Mm -hmm. So like, um, if, if, like if somebody was like, Oh, have you ever like you're on a date or something and, and a girl was like, this is my favorite food. You'd be like, okay, yeah, I'll try some a little bit. I, I don't know how I would get to that with someone. All right. So what we're doing next is collies or kales, cows, cream, smoke, roe. Which is like male fish eggs. This is, this is what I'm worried about, dude. This is on a lot of su or in a lot of sushi, but I want to say it's smelted roe with a lot of sushi. So this is the same ballpark, something else. This is imported from Sweden. This is basic. This is the last thing I grabbed, and I was like, you know what? We got to go crazy with it. Yeah. My tongue is kind of like tingling. I don't do a lot of salt, and that is like 62% sodium daily yeah. intake. And so dude, it's that's super, probably why. Super like acidic. Yeah, that's probably why. I don't do a lot of acidic stuff. So. This was this this perfect little Aryan kid right here, <laughs> Hitler Youth eating his smoked roe. It looks doesn't it look like a yeah, little yeah. yeah a little um, Nazi youth, a little Jojo Rabbit yeah. eating his smoked roe on a pop tart. It looks like a smoked roe pop tart. Um, this looks like a tube of toothpaste or like cock. You know what I'm talking about? Like tubes of cock. Yeah, that's a story for another time, dude. I eat cock as a kid. Did you really? Yeah. Okay, we got I it. thought it was Cool Whip. That's going to be a story we got to hear in the group chat then. Okay, so. <laughs> I thought it was Cool Whip and I ate some cock. It's fine. Interesting way to open it. You have like a little metal thing here, like a little lid. It looks like on the actual lid on the outside. That's pretty and typical. That's, that's like, like how you would open like a bottle of. This uh, is how you open a lot of Ikea furniture and put it together. Or no, it's how you open like a thing of like a, 
uh, contact cement or something like that. You have to break that seal with the. Did you break the seal of cock with your tongue? When you I were did. Eating? I absolutely. Oh god, this is see, this is the one I'm nervous about, dude. <laughs> I just want a little bit. Oh, we can't. Can you move the jar real quick? I do this. Yeah, because it's in. All right, so we're doing that. Move, you can move yours around Ooh, too closer to you. Ooh, dude. It's so fish, what does it look like? It's fish cheese whiz. Dude, this looks disgusting. This looks... Oh. Oh. This is... You're supposed to kind of eat this with salmon or something. We actually... Maybe we should have done all three together. Oh, so you actually... This is not good. You actually go ahead and twist it back after you take the top. So then you have smel- You have smoked roe just on top of the... You can't, you can't shut it that way? No. Oh. It doesn't twist. So does it smell bad? Well, the thing is, it smells like nothing. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not catching anything. So I you? think the row I normally eat, you may have to bring up a graphic for this whenever we do. Okay. Or whenever it's like video. Let me show you here. So, because you like, we both love sushi. We're sushi guys. Sushi, craving some sushi. I had sushi yesterday, Tokyo Grill. I actually thought about doing it tonight. The row is like this. So the crispy stuff. So you eat you've eaten this before, like the orange. Oh, the, yeah, the orange eggs. Okay. But this is like a like like a male version. You keep saying male eggs, dude. Just say just say jizz, dude. I mean, I'm trying to be respectful to our I'm trying to be trying to to our fish audience to, to our, to our <laughs> fish audience. <laughs> I didn't think that was that funny, but that's good, huh? That was pretty good. Thanks, man. All right. Um, I broke my cracker, so it's not. So it doesn't fall apart. Man, I'm nervous to eat this because it doesn't look good. I don't want it in this my mouth. This looks like what the kids it, and hook ate. I don't want it in my <laughs> mouth at all. I'm breaking Man. down my cracker so I can get... Okay. You want me to go... Should we go at the same time? I mean, yeah, I think we should have before, but you were like, you go first. I was nervous, dude. So you go first now. Okay, I'll go first now. Okay. Oh, you're doing the whole thing. Okay. Okay, now I'm catching a little bit of the fish. All right, I'm going to go then. It doesn't seem that bad. It's, dude, it's actually surprisingly not terrible. It's super salty. So I'm getting mostly salt. Give it about 10 seconds and that fish will hit you. The fishy taste. Okay. Now that my mouth is empty, I'm not loving the aftertaste. But it does kind of, I do have like a sushi vibe. Like I do have like a little bit of a sushi kind of. This sucks. Yeah, it's a, it. It doesn't hit you at first, and it's just like with the fish taste and the salt, it does kind of taste like sushi with soy sauce. You my favorite thing so That's, far is the crackers. And the crackers are like the crackers are what I'd imagine you get in like a ration and in, in like war. <laughs> these these crackers are actually from 1942. Okay, so I'm leaving like, everything here with you. Oh, so. that's going in. No, the I mean I'll I'll throw out whatever you don't want, but I'm saying like if you want the crackers, they're yours, buddy. Okay, so give me your assessment. You go okay. first this time. Um, I what def- did you think of the smoked, the cream smoke row? I think if it, it's supposed to be like put on, like typically it's put on like salmon or some fish or something like that. Well, this kid's eating it on a cracker, a cracker with like mayonnaise or something. Or cream I bet cheese, you that's maybe? probably. I bet you that's probably butter. No way. I bet you it probably is. Cream cheese, probably. That's a or yeah, cream cheese is like a sushi thing. I don't know. Um, make with the again, like just like the. Let's Google what cod row is, just to get a. Just you're to, about to see a fish stick, buddy. Yeah, I'm about to see a big old. Uh, oh. Let's see here. Oh, that's just cool. Wikipedia. What's really? row? Road or hard row is fully ripe internal egg masses in the ovaries or released external egg masses of fish and certain marine animals, such as shrimps, scallops, sea urchins, and squid. So, so what's that picture next to it? That's it's on something. What does that say? Toast scoggin topped with cold smoked salmon roe on bread. Okay, so that's probably what that kid's eating, like something like that. Because yeah. Scotton, it says, is there a link for that? Scotton? Is it blue or black? The word. Smoked and salted cod row paste, commonly served as a sandwich topping, is popular in Sweden. The most famous brand is Kalles Caviar. Oh, okay. Lightly salted row on the. I didn't think it was that salted, so I would say lightly salted. Lightly salted row of the Vindance, I don't know what that word is, is called. Lo- 
Lorum in Swedish. It is naturally orange in color. This is not orange. Yeah, it's kind of light orange. It's kind of an orange. The most sought after type is Calyx or Calx. I do. I don't know. From Calx and Northern Baltic Sea. Most Lorum consumed in Sweden is, however, imported frozen from North America. Is the row of lumpfish. I was just seeing if we could get more. So it's not. It's 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 eggs. It's the eggs, not jizz. <clears throat> See, I thought I read it was like the creamed roe is from the males. Unfertilized eggs of the female cod. Do creamed roe. Google search. Soft roe ro is the sperm of a male cod. That's what this is. Creamed smoked roe. Put in creamed roe. Let's see here. Creamed. Creamed cod roe. Made with smoked cod roe. The spread is typically served. Yeah, I want to know what it is. Okay, it is also great with eggs. Stabbed over hard-boiled eggs. Actually, a little bit on hard-boiled egg wouldn't be that bad. I could see that working. Yeah. It's actually, dude, actually, I mean, it's not that bad at all. Or mixed in omelets. I don't, along. like I said, with this stuff, I don't want any more, but... You think this you would snack on a little bit with something? No. I don't think I really would, would like either <laughs> one of them. Even though, dude, you know what's funny is, like, the consistency reminded me of Cheese Whiz. When it went in my mouth for a split second, it tasted like Cheese Whiz. The, the did mental. you have that same? I did. It might be just my brain. Just I think it's your brain. I think it's your brain. Okay. What's right. next? Um... I'm going to keep eating these crackers. Let's try Where's the cups that we had? Oh, I want to knock out this cold stuff. I know I'm not going to like this because I don't like juice. I told you. So this is called Cider Paron. Par par it's a, obviously you can see pear there. It is a Swedish pear cider beverage organic. It has 0.1% alcohol volume. So I wonder if kids could buy that. I guess because it's 0.1%. It's nothing. Oh, yeah. I don't think they check for ID. 210 calories. 18% carbs in a one serving can. I will say this is like a pretty big size serving for a can. Yeah, it's like a Is that normal? When you get like a can of Coke, is it how many ounces is a regular can eight, of Coke? I think it's eight ounces. And it's one serving size on the back, right? And this is 16, this is 16.9. So this is 17 ounces. Mm. So this is basically two Cokes and they're counting as one serving size. But it's also 210 calories. A Coke is probably like, two Cokes is probably what, 800 calories? Like straight up Cokes? No. More two Cokes that? would be. Um... You're talking about the same size? It'd probably be... How many is that? This is 210. I bet you it's probably about the same. Oh, about wow. 100 calories in a... All right, so I'm going to open it and we're going to do a quick smell test. Maybe in a uh, in a regular Coke. It smells like a pear. I've never eaten a pear that I know of. Really? Yeah. We're going to do fruits one day, too. Shout out to the pears. Um, Rick Ross. Shout out to all the pear. We're going to do fruits one day because I really don't eat fruit ever. I think it smells good. I'm going to do just just enough. You never scored the codges. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I would give that, depending on how you're using it, I would give that mm -hmm. three mm -hmm. Swedish chefs out of five. How many did you give it? I'm st I didn't go. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm still at a two. Two out of five. Wow, okay. Yeah. It's not any better than the other stuff. I, I know I'm not going to like this. The crackles, I would, dude, I'll give the crackles a solid... 3.5. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the crackers are really dry. I need something with these crackers. Yeah. Some cheese, cheese, cheese Whiz. Something. Cheese Whiz. Cheese Whiz would and be some like Not hard salami, but like soft pepperoni or salami or something. Mm. A little salam, as the Italians would call it. A little salam. A little gravy. Thank you, sir. Let's try this. Oh, dude, I think that's great. Oh. Tastes like... Um, Tastes like juice. Like I, don't, I want to say it tastes like apple juice. Like, I used to, dude. I used to hate apple juice so much as a kid. It couldn't yeah. be left in the fridge. I wouldn't eat anything in the fridge if there was apple juice in it. This isn't that bad. This is actually very good. I don't like the smell and that much. It's it too overpowering, a, like fruit. It's got like a little bit of alcohol in it. What, like point one percent? Yeah, it's the same amount of alcohol it, that we have probably, in our bodies at all um, times. Probably, you know, that's it's probably like, uh, like fermented. All right, smell. I don't like the smell. A lot of people would like the smell. Because it's fruity. Not a big fruity smell guy. Not a bad flavor at all. Dude, I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm going back. Go from, take the can. I'm going back for more. You can more. have the rest of the can. I'm going to sip on this and I'm good. I'm going back for more. All right. So what is it called technically? The cider 
Paron? This, Paron? this cider is called Cider... They had an apple one, too, but I didn't want to do it. Paron. Yeah, something like that. All right, so how many Swedish chefs out of five? Dude, I'm going... This um, one's pretty easy, probably. I'm going uh, an, an mm, easy 4.5 mm, out of five. This is one I think mm, I would, mm. I thought I would hate the most. I'm going to go four out of five. Mm, yeah. It's mm, pretty mm. good. All Highly right, so we're going to start moving on to the sweets. You could do a whole episode on just Ikea sweets, to be honest. Um, you know, this reminds me of is when um, our good buddy Nanad... Sent us oh, all yeah. that German candy. Yeah, we're kind of close right now in geography. We're in the thing. same same uh, Baltic region. So this is called Balaning? Balanding? Balaning is the rewarding taste of truly good chocolate. Milk chocolate with lingonberries. Have you had lingonberry sauce? I don't think I ever had the... No? When you order the so. Swedish meatballs, which is like Ikea, even more than their furniture probably, they're signature item in that building is swedish meatballs yeah the they only... do they serve it with lingonberry sauce instead of you get gravy on your mashed potatoes but they also do like lingonberry sauce you do with your it's um they taste like like uh, what i imagine like raspberries taste like pretty close to it like I strawberries a, and raspberries i love a raspberry. raspberries um i do it very light on my meatballs and and uh gravy and mashed potatoes so like I said, you know, I never actually, I never made it to the eating area, the cafeteria at mm-hmm. IKEA, whatever you call it, the dining area. Dude, but I love it. I have had this the IKEA meatballs. I got a frozen bag of them once, and I tried them. I love a meatball, dude. I'm a, I'm a pretty. We're gonna do, we're gonna do the, like I said, told you earlier, we're gonna do the cook stuff. I'm gonna grab it one day. Yeah. Because I'll probably grab it on a day we're recording. And just come here right after to cook it. But they got vegetarian or vegan meatballs now, so we'll do vegan meatballs. I don't know what I ate off of that though, and what I actually pulled apart. Oh. To be honest, I'll get a new one. Um, Didn't want to be wasteful. Um, it's okay. Uh, now I'm getting a weird taste in my mouth. Is it the pear? Like a weird. Uh, I'd say I'm getting like a weird. Uh, you having a stroke? Like a weird film. Like a weird. Uh, okay, I. I don't know why, because it was in a white package. Even though it's, it's like chocolate covered here, I expected it to be white chocolate. They do offer a white oh. chocolate variant. I think I saw of this maybe. So but it's like regular chocolate. Dish. So I'm not gonna do the edge. There you go, because I'm sure you'll like this more than me. Break this part off. I think feel like we should get them from the middle, because a lot of times when chocolate's filled with something, yeah. you don't taste it until you get to the middle. So this is milk chocolate with lingonberries. I don't know if you can it see It actually the, looks like chocolate bark. I don't know if you can see the little bumps there. Those are little berries. Yeah, it looks chocolate. like bark. All right. To your <laughs> help. We just rub soft chocolate <laughs> up against each other. It's pretty good chocolate. I'm not getting any berry taste at all. It tastes like chocolate to me. Same, man. Why is that? They're in there. You can see them. Mm-hmm. I don't know what a lindenberry tastes like. I would assume it tastes berry fruit. It, it tastes like a cross to me between like a raspberry and a strawberry kind of. Yeah. It's very like sweet. And Dude, tangy. this is very good. I'm digging it. There you you know what's funny? It's like, I, I wonder. that to you too. I wonder if it's real lingonberries or if it is like, is it, are they dried? Oh, they wouldn't have a lot of flavor if they're dried. Well, see, they, yeah, they look like... But they would preserve longer. They look like they've been dried or something in the chocolate. Mm-hmm. It doesn't say that they're dried. I don't know. Lingonberry. Lingonberry. That's very good, though. There you go. What would you give it out of? Um, I would give that... I mean, I would just rather have regular milk chocolate at that point, or just like a nest. It's like their version of like a Nestle Crunch bar to me, because it is. It does taste like you taste some crunch. It does, it does kind of. Well, you know, it t- the chocolate tastes very Nestle. It tastes like yeah, a, or a Hershey's. I should say it tastes like a Hershey Kiss. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three. I mean, it's I fine. Know, so three point five. Mm, I wonder where this mm, stuff is mm, made. Mm. Spain, I think. It is produced in Spain. Um, what are you gonna give it out of five? I think I will go. I think I'm comfortable going with a four out of five. Mm-hmm. I thought it was very mm-hmm. tasty, mm-hmm. very delish. Wait, what did you give the uh, pear stuff? Four point five. Okay, so you're moving up. I'm moving on up. We moved down a little bit, but all right. So this is called, uh, I believe, the brand is Marabu, and it's called Dame, and it says times two. <laughs> so twice the Dame. Very interesting packaging because it actually has instead of like the nu- nutrients being on the regular packaging. There's like a sticker that was put on there. 
Mm, they don't want you looking at the nutrition. They they want you to buy it first before you know what you're getting. So it goes into a bunch of different languages on the back. One is English. No. But way. then there's also it's covered where it's like just our American nutri- nutritional facts. Oh, because it's actually oh, it says protein, carbohydrates, and all that. Okay, I don't know. This is described as milk chocolate confection with almond caramel. Confection, not a big fan of sometimes, I'll be honest. What does that mean? It's kind of like a very, like, s- not soft necessarily, but it's almost like a, like chocolate that, like, breaks apart. Like, I don't mm. know how to explain it. Um, well, then I'm sorry I asked you. No, it's okay. All right, so there's two in there, but I'm going to pop this open. and Okay. And then show them what it looks nuggets like. nuggets here. Show them what it looks like. Little. So it looks like a Rolo almost. Like if you like sucked a Rolo dry. Dude, in. I thought it was pronounced Caramel. Royo. No, bro. <laughs> joking. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so I was Arroyo. Arroyo. Arroyo Campoyo. So we got our, what are these, dames? Little I'm dames. A, you know, it's times two because there's two rolls, I guess. Yeah, what do you think it? I thought there was twice the dame. Oh, no. I mean, technically there is because there's two rolls. Yeah. I'm looking for twice the dame. All right, so you ready? Yeah. Dink it. What do they say on Rent Link? They dink say it and, dink it and sink it. Uh-huh. I, well, you don't want to I didn't. That. I didn't mean to steal it in my oh, okay. subconscious. Yeah, I could, I could F with this for sure. I'm trying to compare it to... I'm a big chocolate guy. This is, what is it? It tastes like something I've had before. Chocolate. Well, like another type of candy. Like a, you know what I'm saying with confection? It's like a different consistency of chocolate. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not as creamy. It seems like it seems like the stuff, you know, like a her if you go buy a Hershey bar, that's almost like not even like real chocolate almost. It's like No. Buy it next time you're at the store, because you want to get chocolate from like Britain and Europe and stuff, it's much better. Next time you're at the store though, get a, a Hershey Symphony bar. That's much closer to what they actually make in Europe. And it's so much better. Interesting. You know Europeans say our chocolate tastes like throw up. Which, after I heard that, when I eat a Hershey bar, when I could Nod totally see that. When Nod sent us that German stuff, he was talking about how much better German chocolate was. And yes. I thought it tasted the same, if we I'm have, being honest. Dude, we have the worst chocolate in the world. I think I thought it tasted exactly the same. Thanks a lot, Wonka. Um, I'm starting to get a little stuffed up. I think, uh, Damon, I'm going to get one more. Go for it. Because we only got one more thing left, and it's going to be boring anyway. So. Yeah. Cacao life. Chocolate. I looked... I wish I, dude, I wish I spoke another language. Not even joking. I don't know. It tastes like something that I've had before. I don't, and I don't know what, you know, what it might taste like is, uh, the almond consistency is really good in it. It's not very big. It's just crunchy. What are those, uh, hazelnut things that, oh, um, like the tof, it's like a, a tobe or tope or tofe. Nanad sent us some uh, from Germany. Dude, I know what you're talking about. We have about. them here, though. It's like yes. a little hazelnut candy. Yes. Um, And I don't know. I don't remember the name of it. Chocolate ball. Hazelnut chocolate balls is the first thing that comes up. Ferrero Rocher? Rocher? Nah, that's not it. That's not a Ferrero Rocher? No. That's not what I'm talking about. Idiot. Hazelnut. I guarantee you that's what's going to come up. Hazelnut. Candy. Ferrero Rocher. That's all that comes up, man. Hazelnut chocolate. It's not what I'm talking about, you big dummy. I'm talking about Kinders. These things. Oh. That, yeah, those things. That's what it tastes like. Yes, I would agree with you there. That's yeah. what it tastes like. Dude, by the way, those uh, Uncrustables, the, like Nutella Uncrustables are incredible. Do you like Nutella? I love Nutella. I can't and it's so stand bad. Nutella. It's so bad for you. I can't stand it. Dude, it's, it's disgusting it's when it separates and stuff. I love Nutella. I'll eat it by like the spoonful. I'll eat it by the no-full. No-full. All right, so moving on to our last thing for this. I'm so excited. That we're just, we're going back to We should have done that. We actually should have done like, actually, you know what's funny is like nothing really grossed me out. No, I would eat all of this if I and had to And you got to think, dude, it's in a, certain ways. It's a business that has been in America for a long time. They know what Americans are willing. Sure, to they're not stomach. putting this on the shelf if they're if, if yeah. people aren't going to get it. Um, now, what we need to do is to go to like an authentic, like international grocery store and try some of that stuff. That'd be cool. Like some sh- like some weird stuff made out. Of I like need to. Ducks I, I've always something. wanted to do a durian fruit, but we couldn't do that in here. 
Oh, yeah. we got to do that outside. Don't isn't that the thing? Actually, that, on your patio, if the weather's nice. Isn't that good. the thing that they say? Like it, it's the stickiest it, fruit. It smells really bad, but it tastes good. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, yeah. You ever had you a can, jackfruit? I have not. That's the kind of the new thing that like vegans and vegetarians and stuff are starting to replace that with meat. They're starting to use the jackfruit. I've heard of that, like a jackfruit burger or something or sandwich. You can like pull it and it looks just like, it looks just like pulled pork. Like Oh, so a, I, maybe it was a taco then. The Doughboys had a jackfruit something recently on mm. an episode. I don't know what it tastes at a like, restaurant. however. Um, all right, so we've got just basic, it's called Chocolade Le, Le Just Milk Chocolate Bar from all Ikea. Right. So this is a basic. Just plain old chocolate? Just plain old chocolate. I would imagine and I know exactly what it's going to taste like. If it blows my mind. my I'm interested to did see we, here. Did we rate these? Oh, man. We didn't rate um, them, but dude, they're very good. I'm going... I'm going to go... I'm, I'm going four out of five. Mm-hmm. So you're going lower mm-hmm. than the pear juice. Yeah, dude, I really like the pear Those juice. Those are your chocolate shank. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it I looks would like say, a little chocolate razor blade. Or it looks like a little chocolate cyber truck. I would say... Four and a half out of five mm-hmm. for the Maribu, mm-hmm. if not five. Mm-hmm. All, right, All right, so. Yeah. Immediately better than Hershey's, I think. It actually, I would agree with that. It's a little bit. um, Same consistency. It's not as like dry as the. It's, got, it's like a little bit. Whereas like. No offense, but like Hershey's kind of tastes just like it's just like straight up sweetness. Mm-hmm. This is a little; it's got like little hints of like other stuff in there. I don't know what it is, but it tastes a little bit more like complex. There's, I guess. Yeah, there's a there's other stuff in there. Yeah. I dig it. I wonder if it says like if there's like what's in here. Butterfat. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I figured there'd be like sunflower lectin. I don't know what that is. Anyways, very good. I dig it. That's another four out of five for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm gonna finish off this this delicious pear drink. I'm a little chewing. You gotta talk, sorry. Ah, oh, that's okay. Um, I guess, I guess like what we would, what we would put out there is like, what are some other Ikea things that we should have tried? If we do like a volume two, what should we try from Ikea? But also, I guess the idea is like, we need some other interesting stuff to try. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no other huge, um, chain, uh, international businesses like this that I can think of off the top of my head. However... I think we could. I think I'm. I I definitely like the idea of like trying different stuff. Yeah. Well, so so we know it's kind of safe, but yeah. Well, dude, I'm down to like try some, dude. Sure. Like some freaking. Um, there, I would draw Bad. the line, dude. The, what's the? Have you Bad. ever seen the Korean thing? I think it's Korean. It might be Chinese. I don't remember. Korean barbecue. Where they just, dude, they eat like a chicken embryo. No. It's like a, it's like an egg. That it's like it was gonna be a chicken, but then like it didn't. And then they, it's been like pickled. It's like a little pickled baby chicken. Oh, I think it's, and you, they eat the whole thing. I forget what it's called. Yes. Is it balut street food? That's it, balut. That's it, dude. This looks uh, a balut is a fertilized bird egg, usually a duck, which is incubated for a it's period a duck, of fourteen to twenty one days, depending on the local cult- culture, and then boiled or steamed. The contents are eaten directly from the shell. So it's hot at least. Interesting. Yeah, you crack the shell, dude. It's like a, it's like eating peanuts. You crack the shell, and what are you? <laughs> You're a psycho. Who, me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. I feel a little like it's bit. eating peanuts. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm a, a little bit. Interesting. I've never seen this before. Look at this. Look at this fun guy, Fugu. And he's like, oh, it's like a blowfish. Yeah. Oh, is that the one where you can die? Remember, there's an episode of The Simpsons, and I think it's based on a real thing. You I'm, have to eat this one cut of sushi a certain way of a fish I think or I actually die. know what you're talking about, but for the record, never watched a single episode of The Simpsons in my life. That's fucking Is that crazy? Insane. Is that crazy or what? No, I've never seen an episode of The Simpsons. Dude, it was... It, but, I've, but you know what's funny is I've watched several episodes of Futurama. Love Futurama. And what's that was my the jam new in one? middle school. 
What's the newer oh, one? En- that's, en- Enchantless or something? That's on, on Netflix? Netflix? I've seen watched a few it. episodes of that, too. I love Futurama when, and growing up, dude. What are, I guess, some of your favorite IKEA items from the from the menu? We should probably try some meatballs someday. We are. We're going to do the vegan meatballs, meatballs. There's like salmon and stuff, some egg cup things. We're going to do like a cooked IKEA one, too. So, yeah, what are you... What are your favorite Ikea things is what you're saying? I felt like you stopped in the middle of the thought. Oh, yeah, because you cut me off. But... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Story <laughs> of my life. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I'd love to know like some more, like some, some other stuff that we ought to, that we should try next time. Or what I, would, what I would put out to maybe like the Twitterverse at Dunk Butler is some like crazy stuff that we ought to try for the podcast. Mm-hmm. Like what are some like things that we absolutely should try that maybe we'll love or we like we can rank it or we can just try it you okay yeah okay i'm getting dude i can get like stuffed up for some reason <clears throat> you are you having an allergic reaction to the rye bread i might be having a little allergic... the bottoms of these are that's yeah. why they're dry it's kind of that weird. hits your tongue yeah it's weird it's like freaking... eat it eat it with this side hitting your tongue i feel like there's gonna be a difference oh yep guarantee it yep this is kind of like when you get a pizza and it has uh they use corn flour. A lot of like deep dish pizzas use, not corn flour. Is it corn? Corn meal. Corn meal. Sorry. Um, yeah. So definitely let us know what we should try. I just thought this would be like an interesting episode of yeah. too much to say. Little little it's fun. Little little baby steps. So far, first you know first couple things that we've done since we came back has been talking about, um, social media. Then we did the well, we did the wonder like test first social media and now we're doing this so we're just trying different things. What we need to wrap up, you know, when we're still sort of in the, we're still in the early stages of like revamping the podcast, but I think each episode we should have like we had on the old Hero Shop podcast. Oh, with the weekly. A weekly pool. But we don't know when this is going to come out. Well, there's still stuff that you could recommend. Okay. That's fine. What would you recommend? Do you have something that's, what would you recommend? What's been, what's been new in your life? Oh, you, you know were- what's going to be new-ish? Apex Legends. Actually, yeah, Apex Legends season four comes out the fir- February fourth, um, which is next week for us. It'll probably be a couple weeks behind, but season four, pretty cool. Revenant's a new robot fighter. It's the only game I've played for the past year, basically. Dude, it's all um, you talk about. In person, yeah, I don't feel like I text about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I play with um, my friend Buddy and. Mutual friend, buddy, and my buddy, buddy, my buddy, buddy, and then Boz, who he goes by Boz, Bosworth. So Bosworth, um, yeah. So I love Apex Legends. It's a really fun battle royale game. At play a lotta for my Twitter. At play a lotta for my Xbox. At and they're coming out with a new Switch. season, is what you're saying? Yeah, like um, a new February fourth. A new like map changes, a new person to play as, yeah. new weapon. Uh, what do they call it? DLC. Basically, is that what that, is it's that a what free is? to play games, but it is kind of like DLC. That's a free game. It's a free game. I did not know you that. can pay and do like the battle pass. So you get like you can unlock more like costumes for your characters and like skins for weapons and stuff like that. But you can play the entire buddy's never spent a dime on the game and he's played for like 800 hours. So what? So that this came out after Fortnite. Is it more popular than Fortnite? No, nothing's more popular than Fortnite. Well, there you go. I We're think this one so. has a pretty good this one has a pretty good audience yeah. and I think it's still growing. It definitely it came out and then it kind of you know, it hit it like, oh my god, it came out of nowhere. They actually didn't even do like a trailer for it, it just released one day. So it most games just don't do that. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh it was interesting. It's like Beyonce's lemonade album. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> That's right. What's your weekly pull? Uh I will save mine for the next one. We'll just do we'll do just one. One each time. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for checking out this edition of Too Much to Say. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dunk Butler. So you're not going back to Hero Shop Media. I don't Dunk know. Dunk Butler's kind of cool now. You've had it long enough. Yeah. Like, well, it's in like two weeks. You know, the done. thing is, like, well, Duncan Butler was not available on one of them. I, don't, I think Twitter, maybe. You should have done Donnie Butler or Devin <laughs> Butler. <laughs> you should and change it once done, a month to a different I could, Yeah, so for those, I just recently changed my uh, handles. And for those who, uh, or, or what I could say, I could have done like the, uh, what's that, uh, uh, the lowercase slash thing? Uh, uh, people like separate words. Oh, I don't even know, man. It's I not it a dash, but it's like a bottom dash. Yeah. I don't know what you call yeah. that. <laughs> A bottom dash. 
I could have done that and done Duncan Butler probably, but I everyone calls me Dunk anyway, so I figured I might as well just embrace it. Underscore. I was going to say underscore, but that didn't sound right for whatever the reason. The bottom dash. I think that's the what bottom it's dash. Called. The bottom dash. All right. Well, with that being said, if you uh, want Duncan to change his Twitter handle, yeah. hashtag bottom dash. <laughs> And we'll see there. I never remember any of these. My name is Duncan Bottom Dash. Duncan Bottom Dash Butler. Um, Cool. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you later. All right, guys. We love you. Oh, wow.